Hey guys, it's that Dividend Guy coming at you with another Robin Hood portfolio update. Happy Wednesday. Hopefully everybody's having a GGD, a great green day in the market. You know I always wish the best for my viewers and subscribers. So today we're going to take a look at the overall portfolio. Sitting at $58,560 with a 226% gain today. We're going to look at the, uh, the metrics as well as the buying power my um, individual stocks and how they are performing a bunch of green today as well as my watch list so jumping in as i said for today we're up about 220 bucks with a 0.4 percent return that one week mark we're down around 700 dollars with a 1.13 percent loss <clears throat> that one month mark we're down about 1400 dollars with a 2.3 percent loss that three month mark we're up five grand with a 9.37 percent gain Year to date, we're up $8,700 with a 17.5% gain. That one year mark, we are up $11,900 with a 25% gain. And then all time, we are up $23,238.32 with a 65% total return. <clears throat> then we have a buying power of $197.37. That is from dividends. I haven't actually added any new cash to the portfolio in quite some time. I'm paying off credit card debt as of right now. Jumping into the first holding, Realty Income sitting at 6157, <clears throat> sitting at 171 shares of this dividend aristocrat, $10,500 of market value. Average cost is 6502. 18% of the portfolio is in Realty Income. Today, we are up 10 bucks. Total, we're down right around 600 bucks with a 5.3% loss. Dividend coming in on the 15th of 45.06, and I'll put that towards Apple shares. Next up, we've got Altria at $50.02, 320 shares, a little bit over $16,000 worth of market value. Average cost is right around $47 per share. 27% of the portfolio is in Altria. Today we're up 150 bucks, right around a 1% return. Total we're up $800 with a 5.8% return with a dividend coming in on the 10th of 326.40 and that with the realty income dividend and the cash that I have within the portfolio will guarantee me two new shares of Apple which I'm super excited about. Next up We've got Coca-Cola still sitting around that $70 mark, around $69.50, 15 shares of this Dividend King, a little over $1,000 worth of market value. Average cost is $60.54, right around 2% of the portfolio is in Coca-Cola. Today we're up $3.60, <clears throat> total we're up $133 with a 14.5% return. Guys, I love Coca-Cola. I want it to be one of the big pillars within the portfolio, but I don't want to add to it at a 14% markup, near 15%. That's pretty steep for a company with growth rates that like like what Coca-Cola has. So I'm not buying it at these prices. I will buy more if it gets around my average cost. Then we got Apple, right around $230 per share. <clears throat> Six shares, $1,300 worth of market value. Average cost is 21088. 2.3% of the portfolio is in Apple. <clears throat> Excuse me. Today we're up 20 bucks, about 1.5%. Total we're up $110 with a 8% return. So as of right now, I would happily buy more Apple. And I plan on making it the single biggest position. <coughs> Excuse me. Of the overall portfolio. So I'm happy about the, the Altria dividend buying me two more shares. I'll have eight shares total with around $1,500 worth, well, it's almost $1,700, $1,800 worth of market value. So almost a two grand position here in Apple by the end of the month. Then we got Abvi at $193.58, 95 shares, $18,000 worth of market value, almost eighteen four dollars here. $95 uh, dollars and 20 cents is about our average cost. 31 and a half percent of the portfolio is an AVV. Today we're up 60 bucks. Total we're up 9,300 with a 103 percent return. Guys, this is by far my best dividend compounder as well as my best growth stock. Um, I bought this around, I think the original tranche was around 80 and I bought more around 90 and then again at 95. So 
I'm just gonna keep letting this grow. I'm super happy with the capital appreciation and the dividend has grown from $1.07 to $1.55 and I don't see that dividend growth stopping anytime soon. Even if the dividend growth doesn't grow at double digits or isn't as aggressive, I'm still excited um, to see what the company produces in the future. And this company does pay me 150 bucks with that realty income dividend around $200. So we're getting pretty close to um, that visa um, reinvestment. But as of right now, I'm able to buy at least one share of T-Row Price every single month, which is great. It still fills its goal. It still helps move the portfolio forward. And I'm happy with the cash flow and capital appreciation at a over 100% total return. Then we got Visa, 276.70, one share. Of course, market value reflects the price since we only have one share. Average cost is right around 270 per share. Around half a percent of the portfolio is in Visa. Today we're up $1.74. Total we're up eight bucks with a total 3% return. Guys, I would purchase this stock right around 280 to 285 would be my cutoff. So I'm happy right now. Um, if I had the capital, and it was Altria, excuse me, and it, and it was Abby's month to pay, and I had the extra capital to buy myself a share of Visa and reinvest in the T Row, I would definitely do that. This will be the second biggest position right behind Apple, and I'm super excited to pay off my credit card debt so I can take advantage of building up some of these smaller positions. Next, we got T Row price at 106.50. 101 shares. I got that one share with dividend reinvestment from Abby. Market value is $10,700. Average cost is right around $110 per share. 18% of the portfolio is in T Row price. Today we're down 12 bucks. Total we're down $321 with about a 3% loss. Great cost on average opportunity here with T Row price. And then, of course, guys, I've got Google, which I would definitely purchase at these prices at $162. I'm happy to jump in here. Um, and then with Berkshire, um, I want to buy it around 400 bucks, so I do need a major dip here on Berkshire Hathaway. So with all that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching my channel, That Dividend Guy. Remember to hit the like button on this video. Hit the subscribe button on my channel. It really does help. I know today was a little bit quicker. Sorry, I'm doing this right before work, so I'm trying to, I want to make sure I get the video out for you guys. So thank you so much for watching. Remember to hit subscribe on my channel, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another Robinhood portfolio update. Take care, guys.